I'm Chef Aaron Goldstein, and today we're talking about corn. We're talking about corn today because right now it's August in Massachusetts, and that means corn season. So I wanted to show you a little trick that I picked up along the way, and that's cleaning corn. Now, back in the day, I would clean corn like this. And I would take my knife and take out the cutting board, and you start cutting, right? And then in no time, you got corn all over the place. It's so annoying. So, to make up for that, you take a bowl, a big bowl, and then a smaller bowl, and you put it upside down inside, okay? And one thing I like to do here is take kind of an inexpensive serrated knife here, and put the corn on top of here, and cut off the cob like this. And this way, the bowl is collecting all the corn. Now, an extra step, and this is an extra way to get immense flavor in your dishes, right? is to now scrape the cob. And this is where the little mini serrated knife is super effective at getting all the juices out. So look at this scraping. See all that stuff coming out? That's like delicious cream. It's like you can make cream corn without actual cream in this, okay? So this is also a little secret. Something that we used to do in the restaurant is make ice cream out of this. So look at all that beautiful corn liquid coming out of there. So I'll do one more, just for example, as you're cutting off, and be careful. One of the reasons why I like to use an inexpensive knife here is in case you go a little too far and hit the bowl, you're not kind of dulling your knife. Okay? So again, we're scraping, and look how fast and look how clean that process is versus doing it on a board. Okay? So, that's it for today. Cleaning, cleaning corn way cleaner without a bunch of mess. Quick note, now if it's corn season where you are, whenever it is, this is a good chance to do this to a bunch of corn, a whole bushel for that matter, and you can go ahead and freeze this and have it all year long. That's it. Thanks for visiting, we'll see you soon.